Being able to take my oldest daughter through the banner on in a preliminary final was something that I really look back and cherish. Uh, to come up against Collingwood uh, in 2012 and we'd gone through a run of 10 or 11 straight losses against them. It's something that I'll always cherish, like to be able to take her through and still got photos from there, you know, when she was only just really young and um, we obviously had a great win and went on to, to win the flag that year. So something that I, I'll always cherish and, uh, and always remember. We were in a real transformation sort of period. We, there was a lot of conjecture around, um, you know, a new coach and then 18 of the pundits had tipped us to finish Bob Wooden Spooners. And there we found ourselves in a, a qualifying final over in Adelaide Oval. And we went over actually with a ability to say, it doesn't matter who's out there, we're gonna you know, win this game by being a, a strong collective group. And I think that's what stands up in finals. I think we were able to execute, we were able to take the crowd out of the game. I can still remember the deathly silence when we'd kick a goal, but 18 guys on the field just getting around each other. And, and sure enough, it, was, it goes down as one of the, the great memories for me, as, and, and certainly um, uh, it put us on the right track. The guys out there on the field certainly carried that weight of expectation that 72 years was a, a long time to wait and both sides just wouldn't give an inch and um, some of the one-on-one -on -one battles were just phenomenal and uh, you know, I'll always, uh, always remember them. A really seesawing affair and then uh, to have the likes of Nick Malcheski pick that final goal and, just some huge moments along the way. Dan Hannabury, um, you know, taking a big mark, Marty Matten's moment as well. I think it comes down to little cameos. And finals footy, you don't have to be always the best player, but you have to play your, um, play your role at the particular time and stand up and taking that opportunity when it comes. And I think that's certainly what finals footy presents. You don't get a chance to be on the, on the big stage too often. You gotta grab it with both hands. So living that moment.